Excuse me then. Hello then. Wake up. Excuse me then. Oh, would you mind just waking up? Excuse me then. Could you just open your eyes there for me? Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. Oh no, don't worry. You're, you're still on the plane. Hello there. Apologies there. Did, did I wake you? I'm so sorry. Um, well, I could see that you were enjoying your flight with us. That's really great. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, I am indeed the captain of this plane. Who's flying it? Oh, don't worry about that. It's on autopilot. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about there. Autopilot. That's what it's there for. Now, no, no. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm very sorry for disturbing you there. And the very last thing I want to be here is insensitive. That is the very last thing I wish to be for you right now. But I just needed to uh, wake you for something. Now this is what? This is a, basically a complete random and certainly not selected uh, process that we go through on this particular our EG Airlines like to offer all of our customers the very best flying experience. That means flying, sleeping, relaxing, eating, to heighten all of the senses so you feel really relaxed, really great. You know, have a really pleasant international flight. Occasionally, we like to just check up on our passengers. Sometimes, I personally like to come out as captain. Because I can feel like there's something not quite so right in the air and it has led me to you and you just don't particularly look like one of the types of passengers who would sit here in first class okay of course I don't wish to be insensitive at all whatsoever but let me just confirm my thoughts here okay just keep staring at the light keep staring at the light keep staring at the light just keep looking at it for me, just keep looking at the tip there for me, if you can do that for me, that's really great, if you can just, keep, yeah, it, concern, it confirms my uh, uh, non-insensitive, completely random uh, spot check, which I'd just like to do in you, this isn't a normal spot check or anything like that, this is more just a, a face examination, uh, to make sure you fit in the the criteria for someone who would sit in first class here and enjoy all of the luxuries that a first class passenger would receive on, of course, a very upper class and well sought after aeroplane. Now, I don't know how you managed to get through security and let alone the airport, okay, and sort of ferried through to the first class. I mean, pretty much all of our queue system is first class. But how he managed to get through that unnoticed then, uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. They have a great skill, I'd imagine. I just, I just, I just. But you don't look like you are in first class or should be in first class now, do you? So we tend to have, you know, very fine, very well dressed, very, you know, sort of casually smart looking people, to say the least. And uh, you don't look like you, you, I mean, you sort of tried possibly maybe, but not quite. And unfortunately, this has led us to just take a couple of measurements from you. Okay, we're gonna, just gonna, my crew here have passed me just a couple of things, nothing intrusive or anything like that. This is part of, consider sort of the in, onboard uh, massage experience. Experience. And luckily you've been selected, personally selected for the captain to give you a good face massage slash work to measure your face. Okay, and that's just to see if you sort of fit in the criteria that we have in this airline. So okay, you can take down some of personal uh, measurements to make sure that we can keep you in this luxurious seat here. And if your measurements don't quite add up, then... Well, I'm, I'm sure this further down the plane will accommodate uh, you. It'll be even better suited for you than perhaps up here in your seat right there. 
Now, like I said, I don't wish to be insensitive or anything like that, but I'm going to place some gloves on my hands, and I'm going to do just the tiniest little close facial examination here for you. This is nothing for you to be worried about or anything like that. You just carry on and enjoy your flight. You'll barely notice that I'm even here. Uh, don't worry about if there are any passing passengers I'm giving you the audible look at the moment because the captain currently isn't in the cockpit. Don't worry about that. That's not why it's on autopilot, like I said. So, I've got a very special tour here. Okay, we have a very special tour here. Just like you to do a very basic thing for me and just follow it. And when I come a little bit closer, just gaze your attention at it whilst I can look at you. Okay, so I'm going to take it out here. Okay, just a little tiny light there. Okay, now I'm just going to go and shine it a bit close to you there. Okay, just keep following it. Just keep following it for me. That's really good. And just look at your face. Okay, so this has some, some blue light qualities in there, so I'm able to see if you've in fact washed before you've come aboard this flight it's because our seats are luxuriously clean and of course perfectly luxurious and first class and everything you would expect from a very professional airline like RHG Airlines so everything is pristine the most expensive that you could possibly imagine for the ludicrous prices for which we charge for our tickets so we expect I mean it's just sort of mandatory at this point that all of our passengers actually wash before they come aboard. Okay, it's just common courtesy, common decency. Okay, so this blue lighter pen uh, with some infrared lights on there as well will just enable me to pick up if there's any sort of dirt around your face if you haven't washed. And perhaps know the exact time you last washed there as well. I have the appropriate charts which would Tell me the last time you washed it. Nothing to worry about, you can't change anything now. I mean, you could use the import shower um, if we deem fit. That's what this test is for. And of course, this is not meant to be insensitive, of course, at all. It's more just to, to make sure that you keep on top of your personal appearance here in luxurious first class. So, you know, if I spot anything there, I'll take one more check there on your face and write some numbers down. If I see anything there, then we will, or my crew, will pass you a towel and direct you to the onboard shower room there, where you'll be able to have a freshen up, okay, and before located back to your seat, or of course your new seat down in the lower end of the plane. But I'm sure that's that's just a joke, of course. But we, if you do need a shower, then that's something we're going to help you along with as well and I'll let you know so I'm just gonna get a little bit closer if you can just look at the torch there for me keep looking at it okay just gonna look through there. okay just a little bit mm. yeah a little bit of that there and that's yeah okay a little bit of that Yeah. 
matter a little better look at you here okay just keep looking at that for me there just keep looking at that for me there okay now just keep looking at that for me there services at all RGB airlines and at the airport as well that your valets, paddlers, whoever looks after all of your stuff is welcome to come up to the plane and see you on the plane safely and make sure that all your luggage is perfectly stowed away as per fit of the person and as per fit of the airline there as well. However, what I suspect has happened is you don't actually have one. So, amongst the chaos of you walking your own luggage to the aeroplane, you might have perhaps bought up a little bit of a sweat. And of course, having a little bit of a sweat means that little bits of dirt appear on your face, okay? Just little bits here and there, and it accumulates. And upon this lighting and the aeroplane, it can seem somewhat reflective for persons who are walking past you, especially the crew there as well, because the dirt indicates that you haven't appropriately taken care of yourself before boarding this plane. Okay, Being a first class passenger, then you must adhere to certain protocols and unwritten rules, so to speak, of upper class people. Okay, and having little bits of sweat there from carrying your own luggage, well, I'm afraid uh, that wouldn't suffice for someone who sits in a place like this, so to speak. So I'm just going to do the temple to temple check. Okay, we'll start on your left, move to your right, and we will just examine to see how much grease or dirt or grime you have accumulated there upon you turning up for your flight today. Okay, so I'm just going to put that light on there before we have an infrared check. And we're going to go from your left side here. Okay, left around the temple. 
can bring it around over your forehead. Okay, a little bit more on your forehead there. Bringing it over. Okay, keeping it going, keeping it going, keeping it going. And bringing it back down there. I see. Okay. I'm afraid we're just going to need a little bit of an infrared check there with that. Just because I can't entirely rely on those results there. You are a slight tricky passenger, aren't you? So we're just going to shine that there. Okay, just don't worry about it. Move in. It's just going to move up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Nothing too abrasive. Just up and down. Just moves up and down. Up and down. Okay, just keep looking. Where if you'd like, you could follow the pen up and down, the infrared pen as it just moves over your head. See if we could pick up extra pieces of dirt there. And it turns out that we can. Thank you. And the pen. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. So we have a couple more figures here to write down. So that initial sweep there, we had a 6.5 and your left side came up as a 6.1 on infrared inspection though that's dropped down to 3.2 and a 3.1 there too. So there's just a couple more measurements that uh, I need to look at here. I say measurements, just a couple more checks here that I need to do for you. So, one of the things that probably someone like yourself, and I don't mean to be insensitive at all, I don't mean to be insensitive at all, and of course this is completely random, completely random, and you can most likely go back to your, your slumber and your little rest and your relax and flight aboard REG Airlines, and this will all probably seem like a dream for you. I mean, the captain should always be in the cockpit flying the plane as well. So it already feels a little bit dreamy there for you too, which is great. So I'm just going to check around your ears. No need to get nervous and think like that. Sometimes when we wash our faces, perhaps our ears could be a little bit neglected or something like that. But if it comes up with the right results, because all results are right, they're never really wrong ones, they're just right results. If it comes up with the right result, then you might just have to depart your seat there and then go and use our onboard shelter. Now, I know it could be a little bit uncomfortable for you. You probably haven't got the appropriate clothes, but then when you use the shower, we will sort out with you some brand new, brand new fitted clothes for you, something a lot better to help you blend in just a little bit more. Of course, I am being the captain of this particular plane, I'm able to speak for REG Airlines as a company and I'm able to have a little bit of leeway on who gets what. If someone needs something, I'm able just to perhaps make that happen. And if you, on this occasion, need perhaps say a new shirt, then my crew will find you a new shirt and get you fitted with. I mean, we've got seven hours of this flight, okay? And more than enough time to get you fully fitted. If you needed some new trousers, then my crew will get you. We will see what we can put together for you and all of the at the expense of the airlines because it costs us nothing to make someone such as yourself go from being unwashed, unkept, an unsightly look, someone who is displeasurable to the eye, someone who invades your personal space with unwelcome demeanor, or someone who, of course, looks like they could potentially uh, not actually afford a seat like this. I mean, all those factors in mind, REG Airlines is here to help lost causes and, and so such as yours. So, this all can be rectified with some figures added to a piece of paper. Now, the crew, of course, wanted to do this. It's just one of the things they normally do. But I sensed we had a slight more of an extreme checkup with you. 
purely because that you just don't fit the normal etiquette. What we have aboard our EJ Airlines. So with a couple more figures, a little bit more close-up checks, and if you could just maybe talk to me about a couple of things, I'll be able to let you know if you in fact need to go and be escorted to our onboard show. Okay. It will be a very luxurious shower, of course, and there'll be everyone there waiting outside to help you get dressed properly, and be someone in there just to show you all of the cleaning products to make sure you do actually clean your face. And of course, you could be fitted with some new clothes there as well, in which case a fitter would come and see you and get you fitted for Z clothes as well. Then once you return back to your seat, you probably won't be too tired probably feel refreshed and luxurious which is what everybody feels like aboard this plane but you will feel quite awake and could be quite disruptive for someone who's probably trying to get their full night's sleep now like i said we don't want to be insensitive or anything like that we are here to help one of our many mottos which is the unwritten and unspoken word that we have here help we like to of our passengers, even including types such as yours. Just the pen, thank you so much. I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna take a couple of more, and then I can get back to uh, flying our plane. Okay. Well, he did say we'd be hitting a slight uh, turbulence in not so long, probably pretty soon I'd imagine but nothing to worry about because of course autopilot has had all covered there too. Okay, so we've got our figures there. I'm just gonna turn on this light here. Okay. So one of the important things about cleaning your face and a telltale sign of course is cleaning your neck there too. That is equally important. So I'm gonna go close here just infrared at this point. Just the torch, okay, so I'm just going to look. Your nose there, just have a look around your nose, okay. Like I said, don't wish to be insensitive, just looking at your nose there. And just around the other side there as well, don't wish to be insensitive, just looking at your nose there. I see, I see, I see. Find out in 
a second, I'll, I'll let you know once I've come up with the results here, okay. Right, so we had a 7.2 and a 7.5 there, okay, so around that area was surprisingly clean, so I'm just going to tally up what we have on both sides here. results very shortly here. Don't want me. respectable answer um, if it wasn't in fact the completely random completely non uh, insensitive uh, dirt check which we'd like to just do an RVG airlines so uh, unfortunately it's actually out of 500 and uh, we're quite meticulous with these figures and you came up with a 75 and anything below 300 we tend to tip in the direction of guide that passenger straight to the shower room to have a freshen up, some fitted clothes, etc, etc, smarten up. That's all it takes. Nothing too invasive, nothing unpleasant. This is luxurious flight. Expect luxury. Expect, you know, the things that make you who you're meant to be. Okay, cases up here in this particular seat, along with everyone else here. I already know that everybody else is fine. It's just, I don't know what it was, but uh, there's just something about you. Probably your complete lack of clone or something like that. It's just, I need it just to make sure. We'd like to keep everything aboard this flight perfect. So, perhaps uh, one of my crew members would be over to you shortly and be able to guide you to the shower room, get you freshened up, get you some new clothes in there. Uh, we can incinerate your clothes when we get back to the airport if you wish, or you can have them backed up professionally for you, uh, perhaps washed and then sent to you wherever you go when you land. I mean, that's one of the many things we'd like to offer you. Anything to make your stay and your onward journey enjoyable and luxurious. So I should probably go back to the cockpit right now. I mean, that's probably not a particularly good sound that you know, a pilot would wish to hear, but it's all fine. Autopilot has us all covered there. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Perfectly normal. Perfectly normal to hear those sounds. Possibly a little bit of turbulence like that. Nothing jarring whatsoever. Our main priority here, get you freshened up, get you back to your seat, then you can get back to sleep, enjoying whatever you're watching or listening to there, and indulge perhaps in perhaps some late night feast of some sort, something like that. I don't know. Whatever you wish to have a first class flight. Well, I can take these off now and get back to the cockpit now. I'd say my work here for tonight aboard this flight. Well, or 
the decade anyway, it is done. Is there anything I can help you with? I get back to fly the plane. Of course. Well, you'll be uh, escorted uh, to have a little freshen up very shortly. Okay. Take care of yourself. Cheerio.